Today's men face unique challenges. We're just not the men of our previous generations. Testosterone is rapidly declining. We're getting hair loss faster and younger. We have lower fertility and the highest levels of reported stress. But there are ways for us to regain some vitality, some oomph, some fertility. And we're going to explore some of these ways on this series. Today, starting with Shilajit. And Shilajit, man oh man, is powerful. Let's dive in. Shilajit has been mentioned in many historical textbooks, one of which was called the Sharaka Samhita, and this dates back to over 3,000 years ago, and it describes Shilajit as cooling as bitter from the rock that contains iron. But what exactly is Shilajit? Well, Shilajit is a sticky brown black substance that forms in rocks over thousands of years. It's often found in the Himalayas, but it's been found in other places too. Since my first video on Shilajit, roughly around two and a half years ago, Shilajit has expanded exploded in popularity. A lot of people want to understand how Shilajit can benefit them. So remember, who is the first person that always brings you the keys, the gems to uplift your life? It's Big Dongo. So make sure you subscribe. As a quick reintroduction, I'm Polo Tote, certified herbalist with over 10 years experience in the herbal game. If I'm speaking about something, people definitely should be paying attention. But Shilajit has been known in many cultures from Ayurvedic practices, where it's said to help balance the doshas. And it's also mentioned in Russia, in Tibet, in Pakistan, and the Shilajit reserves in Africa. So let's talk about the first issue that's impacting men today, and that is declining testosterone. From 1999 to 2006, testosterone levels have declined in adolescent and young men. So today's men do not have the same testosterone that their parents did. 10 to 40% of adult males have testosterone deficiency and 20% of young adult men, so you're talking teenagers, early 20s, have testosterone issues. So if you want good fat distribution, increased sex drive, facial hair and good muscle strength, you need to work on your testosterone. It's literally as a man your lifeblood. And here's how science tells us that Shilajit can help. Shilajit has been proven to help boost testosterone and to understand how it works we need to break down Shilajit first. Before we break down how Shilajit works let's have a quick word from our sponsors. This video was brought to you by Natural Shilajit, a 100% plant-based resin from the Altai Mountains and it's powerful. High quality, over 84 minerals. This stuff for men and women is in insane and personally I love the resin. This is what I've been taking but you can also get the raw honey sticks for more convenience, or you can take the caps if you're on the go. And if you want to get involved on the Syllogit chain and see what the hype is about, check out Natural Syllogit, link in bio, and get 10% off using my code PAUL, P-A-U-L, as simple as that. And let's level up, guys. Check them out. And let's get back to the video. Firstly, Shilajit contains fulvic and humic acid, one of the primary compounds in Shilajit, and it's important for transporting minerals and nutrients into cells, helping with blood flow, enhancing the bioavailability of nutrients on a cellular level. And proper cell function due to better nutrient delivery to better blood flow is crucial for hormonal balance. What is hormonal balance? Getting you back to homeostasis, including, including the right level of testosterone for you. A three-month study found that 96% of men who took 500 milligrams of fulvic acid a day has significantly higher testosterone levels compared to those in a placebo group. So that shows the impact of this compound within itself and it's ample amounts of this within Shilajit. Secondly, Shilajit is rich in zinc and there's a direct correlation between zinc levels and testosterone production. One study showed that men who consumed around 30 milligrams of zinc per day showed an increased levels of free testosterone within the body. And free testosterone is your bioavailable testosterone, so Shilajit can help with zinc. And thirdly, Shilajit is an antioxidant and it's known as an Ayurvedic adaptogen. And what this means is that it can help fight free radicals. All around us, pollution is there. All around us, we have oxidative stress and Shilajit can help with that. Free radicals and oxidative stress can lead to reduced testosterone testosterone with antioxidants in Shilajit creating a better environment for testosterone production and also stress is a big killer of testosterone and anything that brings you back to homeostasis helps bring you back balance it's going to help with your testosterone and there's more reasons why Shilajit can help you with testosterone but let's move on to the second big thing impacting our generation and that's faster hair loss and younger hair loss let's talk about it so I believe that Shilajit can help with hair loss for some people, it's genetic, of course. For other people, there's environmental factors that play a role. And one of these roles is blood flow. Blood flow plays a crucial role in maintaining hair follicles. As you may know, the brain is the furthest organ away from the heart. And what's on top of the brain? Your hair. So some people already have issues with blood flow to the brain and let alone your hair. Blood flow is crucial. 
So when blood flow is compromised, it can impact the health of your hair and may contribute to hair loss. There's less nutrient delivery and studies show that shilajit can help improve blood circulation and diffusion into tissue. Additionally, shilajit is an antioxidant and antioxidants can help with oxidative stress, which can impact the hair follicles too. And these minerals help keep the oil glands surrounding your hair follicles working properly. And as you might know, that oil glands are key to unlocking hair passing through your hair. Oil is key. From a nutrient standpoint, things like zinc, selenium and iron are key for hair health. Some people's hair loss can be literally attributed to iron or B12. So anything that can help with this is beneficial to you. Of course, some hair loss can be genetic, others can be preventable and some people are inevitably going to lose their hair anyway. But what your job is, is to lose it slower because historically people did not lose their hair, in my opinion, at such an early age. If you can find me a picture from 100 years ago of someone losing their hair in their 20s, shoot, I might even do a bet or do it there because I haven't seen it and I'm someone who loves history. The third issue that is affecting men today is lower fertility. When we think about infertility, we tend to think about women, especially going into their 40s, for example. But this is a phenomenon that's impacting men of today and it's impacting men a lot younger. Studies show that male sperm counts have fallen an average of 1.2% per year since 1973 to 2018. And this is an insane stat. When you think about it, that's a 12% decline every single 10 years. But what makes this matter worse is that from the year 2000, the decline increased to 2.6% per year. That is an insane acceleration in the rate of infertility in men and this means that men are finding it difficult to have children so you're having issues from men and a female standpoint and of course some of these issues are caused by environmental changes we're living in different times and we have to really adapt to these times if we want to survive and pass on the best to our children but for some people, you're not thinking about kids yet, which is understandable. What are some of the other ways that infertility shows up in the body? Well, for one, it shows up in problems of ejaculation. You might have small volumes of semen once you ejaculate. You also might have reduced sexual desire or erection issues, ED, um, premature, all of that stuff. And you might have abnormal breast growth. Some people do have gyno and these things and infertility issues might play a role. So it's been shown that Syllogic can help with infertility and thus with other issues as well. Everything in the body kind of works together. So how does Shilajit help with infertility? Well, the first way we've discussed already, it helps with testosterone, but also it's been shown to help increase sperm count and sperm mobility, which basically means it helps your swimmers swim better but also the amount of swimmers so if you increase the amount of swimmers and also your swimming mobility you're more likely to reach that goal you know you're more likely to hit that egg and it's also believed that shilajit can influence atp atp is a primary energy currency of cells so increased energies means better swimmers less likely to die on that journey so there you have it here's how shilajit can help the modern man adapt and thrive in these times. And I believe every man should take Shilajit. So if you wanna get yourself some Shilajit, look, I've got the best Shilajit here, which is natural Shilajit. Click the link in my bio, use the code Paul for 10% off and start leveling up your life. It's Paula Tolte, certified herbalist and nutritionist. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.